why so serious <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie B. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. So today we are going to be doing my nighttime skincare routine where I take all of my makeup off and all that jazz. That's why I'm wearing this funky bow on my head. It's not for a fashion statement. <laughs> so before we get into the video, just make sure you go ahead and hit subscribe at the bottom of this video and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload. I do upload three days a week at 5 p.m. Eastern time. I'll go ahead and place it right down here. You guys don't want to miss out. Become part of the hive. We have a lot of fun. I do a lot of super cool videos, makeup tutorials, product reviews, hauls, fun challenges, all of that good stuff that you don't want to miss out on. If you are already subscribed, as always, thank you. I love you, and let's get into this video. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I zoomed you on in. I bet you're wondering what the hell just happened to my eyebrow. Well, I had to do thumbnails for a previous video, so make sure you check it out. All right, so let's get into my skincare routine. So I have been doing a the Korean, trying to follow the 10-step Korean skincare routine that I found online. And I'll go ahead and link what I follow down below. If you guys follow something similar, then let me know and I can kind of check it out. I have a bucket of water. I'm going to be doing spa style removal because well, I'm not taking it into the bathroom because I'm lazy. <laughs> All right, so I have my bow on here to try not to get my hair too crazy. The first thing that I go into every night um, is a makeup removing cleanser. Um, so this one, I just pump a couple pumps in and this has honey in it, which is really, really, really nice for your skin. So you don't put any water, you kind of just like bubble it between your fingers a little and then you're just... <laughs> and I definitely get my ears and my neck because your girl wears her makeup all the way down. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rinse my hands in the bowl of water, taking the excess and just bubbling what you already put over. So you just rub the water. All right, so now I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth. I actually got these, <laughs> it tastes so gross. I actually got these from the car, the auto section. And I'm gonna go ahead and, I don't have my mirror here. And I'll wipe off my lipstick first because it freaking tastes nasty and this, just lightly, ever so slightly, wipe it off. I think it was like 14 of them for like $5. And I'm like, Pff, you guys are really like trying to hide out on us. Like you want all these soft, nice cloths for your car, but not for my face. However, a makeup eraser from freaking Sephora is $20. It's basically this. <laughs> it's just fancier. Like literally it takes my makeup off just the same. And I don't know anyone who just goes in with water and takes off their makeup. I mean, maybe some people do, but I can't because I just put so much on that it just, my face would never, never forgive me for it. All right, so let's go into step number two, the Pharmacy Clean B Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. And again, this is a more natural. So I'm going to go ahead in that water, slap it to face and give me some moisture. And then go ahead and put some pumps. Probably unnecessary amount of pumps, but I'll go ahead and it just, it smells like tea. That's what I feel like it smells like. It definitely, it has fragrance, but it is more of like a natural fragrance. So fragrance that comes from the flowers and from the honey. It's not perfume that they added. So it's not added fragrance, which is really, really nice because um, for those who have sensitive skin like I do, it can be a bit much. So again, you'll go in and rinse that off. And after this, I will go get more water because this is getting gross. All right guys, so while I was at the sink getting more water, I went ahead and I just rinsed off the rest with a washcloth. And now the next thing I'm gonna do, by the way, this is called the double cleanse method. So basically you use a cleanser to remove your makeup and then a cleanser to actually clean your face. So the next thing I am going to go in with is the First Aid Beauty, and this is the Facial Radiance Polish. This is the exfoliator, and this is helps exfoliate, brighten, and purify. This is safe for sensitive skin. This is my favorite because I do need to exfoliate. I get a lot of dry skin. Exfoliating can be really harsh on your skin. Um, I do like to do a chemical exfoliant, but not all the time because it's not good for your skin, especially if you have sensitive skin. So you put it on here and you just gently rub it in circles. Um, people think that like the harder, again, I'm not a professional. I just want to say that I'm not an esthetician, 
but the, they think that the harder they rub, the more it works. You actually don't need to do all that. You can actually give your face some, like, abrasions and cuts. So you just want to kind of just gently massage it in there. Nothing crazy. I do not do this on my neck or my ears, which I probably should. All right, I'm going to go in that water again. And this time I'm going to just wipe it back in, like, circular motion. And I do not use... The exfoliator on my lips either so I'm gonna take a dry microfiber cloth now that I'm done with the washing and I'm just going to pat it all right so now that we are done the fun part I go in with my Laneige toner this is the essential power skin toner for normal to dry skin it is really good for dry skin so and toners can kind of be really have a lot of alcohol in them so I try and these are what I put it on with just little round cloths. Um, I try not to get ones that are not for dry skin. So I put a couple of drops on there and I just kind of wipe all over the face. One, it helps balance your pH levels and two, it just gets rid of like any excess makeup you may have left after doing the double cleanse, which is crazy because it's like, girl, I done double cleanse. There shouldn't be anything left, but there is can't see it because it's white but see that boom so you just want to make sure you have it really clean all right so this is the Laneige water bank essence for all skin and honestly I had no idea what an essence was until I started this 10 steps 10 step skincare routine and I start from the middle of my face and I just work my way out so this helps with really good hydration for your skin and like if y'all are not new here then you know what my skin is like the desert if you are new now you know I have desert like skin all right so the next thing I go into is the Kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate and I just put a couple of drops on my hands and also with the um 10 step the website that I'm gonna give you it um I just warm it up in my hands and I just kind of press it. It gives you like the steps and order that your skincare should be applied. Sometimes I go by it, sometimes I don't. It just depends. Like you're supposed to put the oil on last, but if I'm going through it during the day, I will put my moisturizer on last just because I hate having an oily face, which is crazy because I also hate having a dry face. Can I just be perfect? So my daytime ranges differently from my nighttime routine. So if you want to see my daytime routine, go ahead and comment below and I will also put that up. So I'm going to tell you that this is the multi-functioning formula snail 80 intense repair serum. 80% of snail secretion filtrate for wrinkle care and skin regeneration. So it helps with regenerating your skin and it also helps with hydration. So I go ahead and I put a couple drops on my hand it does have a really funky smell and I won't lie to you in the morning when I wake up my face will stink like you can definitely tell it stinks if you also use like a nighttime repair serum of any kind because this isn't a serum this was just like liquid drops um whether it be like the was it Estee Lauder has one um any treatments then you're gonna do that and also after I do my serum, I will put on a sheet mask um, every other day or every couple of days. I don't do a sheet mask every day. I'm not gonna do that today, but um, you put a sheet mask on, take it off, rub it in, and then go in with your moisturizer and face oils. So again, that will all be in that link that I go ahead and provide. So this is the Belief True, the True Cream Moisturizing Bomb. This stuff, guys, when I tell you that I have like the most hydrated skin when I put this on, I'm not even kidding. Like it takes my skin from zero to 60 in hydration oh, so fast and it smells so good I and mean, it's so nice. It feels so nice. Like I literally carry a smaller one in my purse throughout the day because I just love it. I love how it feels. It's so nice on my skin. Like it just moisturizes my skin immediately. So I'm going to go ahead and let that sit for a minute while I am letting it sit before I put my final step on. I go ahead in with the Laneige Special Care Sleeping Mask for your lips. Another 
newer product that I have, but I have used it down. This stuff is a lifesaver. If you have dry lips, get this. Sephora, $20. It sounds like a lot, but you get a lot in here, and it is outstanding. Like, I could not go to bed with this without this on my lips and wake up because I have such dry lips. All right, so the final step is going to be the Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil by Drunk Elephant. Um, again, this is super expensive. I think it was like $74, $72. Um, if you have a face oil that you like, I know Kiehl's has some. Um, I'm pretty sure there are other place, other companies that have some at Sephora. So I do have just warm it up in my hands before I place it on my skin and I just all over. Dab, 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 dab. But make sure you warm it up first. And this stuff, oh my god, it makes my skin look so good. And again, it doesn't have to be a $74 face oil, but I do recommend that you get a more natural oil or that you get a oil from a higher company do not go out do not go to Amazon and buy a three dollar face oil because you don't really know what you're getting um, your skincare is super important so I think that money invested in good skincare is always worth it in my opinion not everybody thinks like me but if you guys want my opinion spending that little bit of money extra is really gonna save you so that is it for my nighttime skincare routine guys as always if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and i will see you on the next one bye